Hi, uh, my name is Elizabeth Martinson. I'm a veterinarian, uh, board certified in reproduction. I'm actually a theogenologist, which means I'm a specialist in both uh, male and female. But I have this mare here today. We are in the month of November, which is a perfect month to try to investigate and get mares ready for the next breeding season. So if you have a mare that was open, um, for the breeding season of that year, the best time to maybe get her ready uh, for next year is now. Um, around the months, you know, September, October, November, and even December, you still have time to um, do a culture biopsy and treat your mare, and you're not gonna miss any time, even if you wanna breed early in the year. So right now, I'm just gonna scan her to um, get a baseline of what we have going on. I'm going to check her for fluid, and after this, we're going to do a culture biopsy on her too. The fluid at this time can be an indication that she has some infection or inflammation in her uterus, but this may actually doesn't have anything. I can check to see if she's still cycling, and this mare is still cycling. It is at this time of the year, too, that we start mares on the lights, usually around Thanksgiving time. So now that I ultrasounded this mare, confirm that she does not have any fluid, I'll go ahead and clean her up and do a culture biopsy. So we're getting ready to do what you need to do with the culture now. I want to make sure that after she was clean this year, that she did not decide to get another infection. I'll have my assistant cut the top for me here. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. This is what we call a double guarded swab. It has basically like two little tubes. Both are sterile, but when I go through the vagina, I keep the swab closed just like this. And once I pass the cervix and I'm inside the uterus, I advance my swab. That way the sample that I take is entirely from the uterus and there is no contaminant in my result. I'm just going through the cervix, then I advance my culture, swab her uterus, let it work a little bit. like this, let it grow, and in 48 hours I'll have the results. And the next step is to do the unit biopsy. Unit biopsy. The unit culture is going to tell us if the mare has an infection. But the uterine biopsy is going to tell us if the mare has inflammation. Sometimes you treat the infection, you get rid of the infection, but the mare may not get rid of the inflammation and she may need a little bit of help. So if you've had a mare that had many infections during the breeding season and if you think that that's the reason why she did not get a cold, it is a good idea to go ahead and have your vet do a uterine biopsy. We can treat inflammation, but we cannot treat scar tissue. If the inflammation persists, and if you don't do anything to treat it, the inflammation is going to become scar tissue, and then you may have more problems later on down the road. This is a very simple procedure. There's a little basket here. And I'm going to go in and take a little bite or a little tissue sample from her uterus 
and send this to the pathologist that is actually going to read the biopsy and tell me if the mare has inflammation, if the inflammation is chronic, if the inflammation is acute, and if the mare has scar tissue. Also, on the report that I get from the pathologist, I will be able to know what are the chances of that mare getting a foal and carrying a foal to term. This is just a little biopsy sample. It's a very easy, quick procedure. It's really inexpensive compared to the cost of breeding a mare more than once and not getting her in foal. So that's all we do. And now we're going to submit this to the pathologist. They're going to analyze the sample. And in about 10 days, I'll have the results. And I'll be able to tell my client if we can just start the mare under lights or if we need to do something to get her ready for next year.